Stop. Come on. Hi guys, Snake Dotter here. Welcome to another unboxing video on my channel, and this is something new. Uh, we've got a unboxing from a company called Munchpack, and Munch they Pack. they do unboxings from with food from around the world, candy sweets, seafood stuff, random random things. If you check out the website, which the link will be in the description and also on screen, you will see that you can choose all different things. You can you can sort of favourite different types of food. If you don't like seafood, you can minus it on the website, so you don't. If you don't get any seafood, if you love gummy stuff, you can say I love gummy stuff and they'll send you more of that. Very, very customizable website. A really good idea because a lot of these unboxings you get, a lot of people will probably go, oh, I don't like prawn flavoured biscuits or whatever you might get in a Japanese box, whatever random stuff you get. We've had some weird things, haven't we, to be fair? We've had wasabi, um Yeah, we've had we've had some we've had some we've had some very strange things. So the web the idea of the website is that you can you can customise it to how you want to tailor the box so you get what you actually enjoy. Um, and so yeah, I looked at it. I've ordered something. I've ordered a regular box. Um, so let's open it up and let's see what we get. So like a lot of these unboxings, you get a postcard. It tells me here that this munch pack was made just for me by Joe. So thank you, Joe, if you're watching. Thank Not you, that Joe. you probably will. Thank you, Joe. Not your mum, Joe, no. but Mr. Joe in America from Munch Pack. It would say different with an E, but um, but yeah, and it's got a little thing. So if you do get a, a thing like a lot of these unboxings, you can capture the moment, you can share your experience, and you can tag a friend. And they've got different Instagrams and YouTubes and stuff. If you do a search online, you'll see all their socials. Some of them are on the screen, um, but yeah, that's cool. So um, if you do get your own, give it a share like I'm doing. You may get free goodies or win a free box. So uh, let's open up the first item and let's see what we get. The first item that we see in this box is a creepy gummy. It looks like a like a scorpion yeah. or some kind of weird Something. jelly mold. bleh, jelly moldy kind of not moldy, literally moldy no, in a mold, a mold in a mold. Uh, although it is green and could be moldy, it's like some kind of weird gummy, creepy crawly. Should we? Should we? Do you want to have a taste? Okie dokie. It says open, open, open sesame. Here we go. Look, done it. Look, look at that. Quite well packaged actually. Let's peel it off. Open up the creepy. Oh, oh dear. Oh dear. Mm. Peel out the. Ah, oh, ah, oh. Here <laughs> we go. Gone. Have a chew. Have a nom. Oh. Ah. Mm, mm, mm. Well. It's really weird to eat. <laughs> it's a bit weird eating the, something you know shaped like a creepy crawly, but it's pretty good. Pretty good. That's just a gummy, fruity gummy. Like normal, very nice. It's nice, it just feels weird to eat. Yeah, it's a bit strange. Very good though. The next item is Cocoa Dance. <laughs> it looks like it's a coconut Dance. kind of thing. Maybe like um, a bounty bar? Maybe. Maybe, so with this... It looks like the packaging of the um, Aldi version of the Yeah, very small, but don't eat it yet. You gonna bite? Just... No, I don't eat it yet, he's gonna you go straight in. You need to the inside. Go on then. It is. It's a bounty bar. Is that losing America? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this is the American one, I don't know. But um, this is cool. A bit more flavour, a bit more coconutty than a bounty. Got more nice, nice bit of flavour. And very nice. Two out of two so far. Good stuff. The next item is something from Japan, as you can clearly see on the pack. These look like they're just potato snacks. They look like kind of weird, wiggly worm kind maggots. of maggot shaped potato snacks. But they are just potato. They've got no. They've got no trans fat in them. All the all the all the, the bad fats. The bad fats. Yeah, but, but, but all fat not. Generally means bad. Yeah, but not all fat. Trans fat is the bad thing. Literally just potato. No, No flavour. Just literally, very really no, not even much salt in it, is there? It's almost. Like fries. Yeah, they're not they're not even not even salty, is it? It's not even not even a salt, not even really salted. No, it's really literally taste. they're nice. Because like they? you taste them first, and they say it's like really salted, and then yeah. you've got this weird. There's no salt flavour at all, and they're really nice. Makes a change, something potatoey, but not not really heavy salt. So um, yeah, very nice indeed. So as you can see, the next item isn't something I'm particularly looking forward to. I like garlic. Garlic peas. green peas. Um, it. I guess it, it is exactly. Is it from Garlicky ja peas. Garlicky peas. They're from Japan. They're in a little sort of crispy kind of small crispy packet. And um to worse that sounds really weird, but I bet to know. Yeah, I bet it's, it's quite, quite normal. Oh, very garlicky. Tip your hand out. Tip your hand out. Oh, maybe not that many. I'll have a couple. You better. Just take just tip them in your mouth. Literally. Ah, oh, like a pea. Oh, my word. 
Oh wow. They're very, very garlicky. That is like eating garlic. Isn't that nice? You like them? For me, that's like a bean boozled challenge, that right there. No. Yeah, it's quite they're quite strong. And not bad flavour. No, they're not peas, they're just green crisps, aren't they, really? They're nice. But they're garlicky, yeah, they're not bad. They're strong flavour. If you like garlic, you'll have no problem with them. Like me. I do like garlic, but that's very, very strong. But yeah, let's open the next thing. Oh. The next item says on the packet that it's good and it's regular. They are good. So let's see. I think I've seen these. I think you've seen these before. They're like a toffee biscuit, they're, you think? According to some people, they taste like cardboard, but they don't. Yeah, but well, we're not. I don't think they taste like cardboard. But let's open, let's open it up and let's have a, a little nom of this biscuit. Oh, it's very, very, um, it's almost like a They're soft, solid, yeah. it's, almost, it's almost chewy, like a, like a yeah, chewy biscuit. There you go, have a little, oh, look at the bit, look at the bits coming off it, look, mmm, stringy bits. Straight in. Mm. These look actually very nice. It is, very nice. I just poured all crumbs all over myself. Mm -hmm. They're good. Mm -hmm. Now, like a very, like, they're just a toffee biscuit. A soft, chewy kind of. Waffle almost. They are waffles. Like a waffle biscuit. I what? call toffee waffles. There you go. Toffee waffles. Very good. The next item looks like it's from Spain. I may be wrong. Baritas Pina. I'm not sure. But these are these are these are uh, pineapple filled cookies. Pineapple biscuit. Do you uh, do you fancy a pineapple biscuit? Yes. Let's give it a go. Oh wow, look at these. Healthy these... as well, so. Healthy eye? What because they've got fruit in them, no. Oh wow, look, they are. Probably flavouring. Yeah, oh wow. So they look like um, Nutri-Grain bars. Yeah, like the Nutri-Grain bars. Yeah, no, you have this one. You have that one, we'll have half each because there's, there's a lot there. You have, you have, you have, I'll just take a bite. There you go. You have that. So yeah, they're just like filled with pineapple-y sort of soft pineapple stuff in the middle. They are like the breakfast bars, aren't they? That kind of Nutri-Grain bar. The flavours are really good. Almost like a jam tart, almost. Not get any words from him, he's quite happy chewing away on the pineapple filled biscuits. Very good. We have some more crisps. These are Zaps potato chips and they are New Orleans Kajahan. kettle style Cajun dill, not Kajahan. Cajun dill gator taters. Cajun. So, um, it says on the back our New Orleans kettle style potato chips are kettle cooked one batch at a time. This process combined with premium ingredients results in a crunchier, tastier potato chip. Let's give it a go, shall we? Okay. Here we go. Excuse the crunching. Oh, they smell alright, actually. They smell not bad. Like a normal crisp, like a normal English style crisp. Mm. They're a strange taste, aren't they? Quite spicy. Um, I can't just hot as well. I can't even describe what that is. It's Cajun, it's Cajun spice which is which is spicy. You're right there. Good. We'll leave him to hot and we'll move on to the next item. We have some Pocky. It is from Japan as you know if you see my other unboxings. Pocky are from Japan. That crisp is still biting in the back of my throat. I know it's really hot. And these are these ones are green tea covered biscuit sticks. Wanna try one of these? Uh-huh. I'm okay. not a big fan of green tea, so I'm not gonna try this because I don't mean to be horrible, but I really don't like these sort of things. But um But yeah, we're gonna give Jamie a go. Lie, but... No, you're gonna give it a go because you're all like a glove. You're not my test dummy, my crash test dummy. What do they like? Show the people the stick. Just a green stick, normal normal sort of pocky kind of stick. What's it taste of? I'm not sure. Taste of green tea, I presume. If you've not had green tea. It's doing the usual pocky stick nomming. Not too bad then, clearly. Bit of a chew. There's a bit of a pause there, which means he's not quite not sure. Not good? Not <laughs> Guys, we're gonna move on to the next item. They were pocky, but let's move on to the next one. When I first got these out of the box, I thought that said sweaty fish. It was just a quick glance and I thought it said sweaty fish. A company called Vidal. These are gummy swirly fish. They are soft gummy fish. I'm not sure where these are from. Oh, they're actually from, they're in Spain. Oh, it's an American company. But they're made in Spain as well, so this might be the Spanish one, I don't know, or the miracle one. If you're from America and you've seen these, you can let me know in the comments, maybe. Um, America or Spain. America or Spain. They're made in Spain and they're made in America. Right, grab one. Grab a fish, show the people. What colour are you going for? Red. Going for a red fish. Almost normal. Going for Nemo. Okay, I'll go for... I'll go for Grimo, the green one. Nemo's orange, so... True. Oh. Oh. They're nice. Mm. 
Mm. They're really good. They've got like a cream, almost like a cream flavour. Mmm. They're good. I'm just following it whole. I'm having another one. I'm having an emo. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Mmm. Uh They're good. Put the orange one. Okay. He likes them. Let's move on. The next item is a lollipop called a slaps. And these are, as you can see, these are huge. Look at them, bigger than my head. And then the idea of them, looking on the back, is you're supposed to fold it as you want. So you open it up with a bit of, you sort of open up the, the packing, the sort of peel, the feet, the film kind of packing on there. And you fold it up into whatever size lolly you want, and then you eat it. And we're not gonna try this, because I think, you could fold it. Yeah, but we could, but we got to open it then and, and, yeah. and, we, and then it's going to be all sticky and, and that. But they look really nice. They're mango flavour, as it says on the screen there. Um, so we will try that later when we finish recording. Because um, they're going to be big and sticky and if we lick it once it's going to be put somewhere and game. Maybe we should do it after the video. No, we'll, 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 we'll okay. try, we'll see, we'll see. But um, yeah, they're really cool. Let's, uh, let's move on to the final item though. One more item to go. We are all familiar with M&M's. These are crispy M&M's. Now, I think you do get these in England. Are they in a blue pack in England? No, they're the pretzel flavour. Are they? No, they're, they're, are they? I thought they were blue anyway, but they're the blue crisp, ones are peanut. crispy shell. No, blue ones are yellow. Uh, blue ones are yellow. Yellow ones are peanut ones. Blau brown ones are the chocolate ones. And I'm sure crispy were in blue. I might be wrong, but if you guys know, let me know. But yeah, crispy M&M's. These, I guess, are American. Doesn't, it looks like it's American. And um, we're going to just try them. I guess they're going to be like the normal M&M's. Having your hand out, son. A couple of M&M's. There you go. You've got two reds and a blue. He's just shoving them straight in his mouth. Shoving them straight in his mouth. Mmm. Mmm. They are the normal ones. I've had these before. They are tasty. They are very, very tasty. Mmm. Very, very nice. So, there you go, guys. That is the Munch Pack box. Um... I really like that. It was really cool. What do, what do you think? Just yum. Yum. Apart from the crisp, the crisp was a bit of a burn. Yeah, that was nice. Like but we'll, crisps we'll, right. we'll give it to we'll give it to uh, we'll give it to your mum. Like, I'll give it a crisp to your mum later, and um, don't yeah. tell her don't tell her the flavour. So let's see what happens. But then um, I thought it was really good. They got a really good mix of, of sort of foods from around the world. Some from Spain, some from Japan, some from America. Stuff that we're familiar with in, at home in England as well. Um, yeah, really good. If you want to get your own, the links will be in the description. The website is on screen as well. And um, if you do, do get them, as, as it says on that postcard at the beginning of the, of the unboxing, share it with them and you may win a free box next time. Who knows? But from me and Dr. Creeper, we're going to say goodbye. This will be one of the last unboxings. As I've said on my unboxings that I've done in the last couple of days, um, my unboxings are going to move over to my second channel, my vlogging channel, which has just opened. Vlogging channel is on. The link will be in the description as well. Um, and subscribe to Jamie. His link will be in the description. Um, but yeah, all the um, all the unboxings are going to be moved over to there onto the onto the vlogging channel very soon, probably from the start of December. So if you want to watch unboxings in their fullest, in their full, head over to that channel. Subscribe, please. I've got sort of 50 or 60 subs now, so it's cool. It's going going lovely. Um, only been open two days, but um, yeah, I'd love you to to join me on that one. I'll be doing sort of unboxings and vlogs and bits and bobs. So yeah, join me on there, and we will see you again soon for some more unboxings. Hopefully on that channel. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.